In this video, we're going to take a look at finding what is called the prime factorization of a number. A factorization is simply a number that is written as a product. For example, a factorization of 12 might be 3 times 4, or something like 2 times 6, a number written as a product. What is particularly interesting to us, especially as we work with fractions, is this thing called the prime factorization. A prime factorization is a product of prime numbers. And every number has one unique prime factorization. To write 12 as a product of prime numbers, we would write it as 2 times 2 times 3, or we could write it as 2 squared times 3. The way we find this prime factorization is we divide by prime numbers. And you'll remember that prime numbers divisible by 1 in itself, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and they keep going. Those are all of them that are smaller than 20, at least. So, for example, if I had a number like 360, and I wanted to find the prime factorization, I'll put this little upside-down divide bar so that I'm working down, a prime number I can divide into that is 2. 2 goes into 360 180 times, and a prime number I can divide into that is 2, which goes in there 90 times. 90 is divisible by the prime number 2, which goes in there 45 times. You might notice the last digits of 5, so that might suggest we could divide out the prime number 5, which goes in there 9 times. 9 is divisible by the prime number 3, 3 times, and 3 is divisible by the prime number 3 once. What we'll do is we'll keep dividing out prime numbers until we end up with 1 at the bottom. When we do that, these numbers up the left side will make up the prime factorization. What's nice about them is it doesn't matter which order you divide them out, you'll end up with the same set. Notice we've got 3 2's, or 2 cubed, just putting them in order here, 2 3's, or 3 squared, times 5. This is the product of prime numbers, or prime factorization, of 360. Let's try another example. This number, 12,250, we can see because the last digits of 0 is divisible by 2. 2 will go in there 6,125 times. It ends in a 5, so we know from the divisibility test that it's divisible by 5. 5 goes in there 1,225 times. Still ending in a 5, we can divide out another 5 factor, which goes in there 200. 45 times. It still ends in a 5, so we'll divide out another 5 factor. 5 goes into 245, 49 times. 49, we recognize, is divisible by 7, 7 times. 7 is divisible by 7 once. We finally got down to a 1, so all these other numbers must make up our prime factorization. In order, we have a 2 times 3 fives, or 5 cubed, times 2 sevens, or 7 squared. The prime factorization we have is 2 times 5 cubed, times 7 squared, is a product of prime numbers that equals the 12,255. We find this prime factorization by continuing to divide out prime factors, it's important that they're prime numbers, until we end up with a 1 at the bottom of our division.